Hello everybody. It is time to learn a new concept. We are going to learn concept 25 today. All right. So let's get started and see what we're going to learn. Say each word after me. Bag. Beach. Battle. Button. Bunch. What sound is the same in all the words? Yes, b. I'm going to write the words on the board, okay? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. You guys are all sure working so hard. And I hope every day you're practicing your reading. And I hope that you're getting to play outside some. It's so nice outside. And I know it's starting to get hot. So hopefully soon you'll get to go to the beach. Or go swimming. Or maybe you have a trampoline and you can put some water on your trampoline. All right, let's look at our letters. I mean, our words, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. So we got bag, beach, battle, button, and bunch. What letter or letters are the same in all our words? Yes, very good. B. Yeah, very good, guys. Good. I hope I get to go to the beach this summer. All right. All right. Guys, we are getting so far along on concepts that they're gonna go kind of quicker. Um, so because of that, I'm gonna try to read you a book after some of these concepts so that way um, you have something else you can kind of listen to or you know you're always welcome to get on my Epic and use my code and have books read to you or you can read books on there as well, okay? You can have them read to you or you can read, also read some. All right, here we go. Concept 25. So look at our, go to number one. Okay, practice your words and let's get ready to read. Okay, y'all ready? Bag. Bib, bite. Okay, number two, look at our words. Practice. Now ready? Big, boss, and bill. Go to number three and practice. Ready? Bond, nab, and sob. You guys are doing good. Go to number four and practice. Okay, we got fib, band, and snob. Okay, our last line today. Ready? Blimp, bang, and blast. Good job, guys. Good job reading your words. And I'm so very proud of each and every one of you. Every day you, get, you become better readers. And so, I'm going to read 
a little bit from our storm book. If you've been watching all your concepts, you know that we read about thunder and lightning and what, why we have weather. So, we're going to read about a tornado, okay? Tornado. All right. So, I'm going to read it and then I'm going to show you the pictures, okay? So, strong winds blow. Dark clouds cover the sky. Hail falls suddenly. It is quiet. In the distance, a cone-shaped funnel cloud touches the ground. Tornado! Twister! Cyclone! Those are all names for a fierce, fast, Twisting wind. Over water, tornadoes are called water spouts. See that big tornado? It's huge, isn't it? See the funnel that looks like a cone? Yeah, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? And if you watch tornadoes, the funnel cone is always wider at the top. Okay, see it kind of gets smaller. It starts really big and see how it kind of comes down and gets smaller. All right, y'all ready? Ooh, let's read about sandstorm. I don't see a whole lot of those here. A wall of wind picks up sand. As the wind crosses the land, it picks up more sand. And then the wall grows higher, as you can see. When it roars past, it can knock down fences. In Australia, they call the storms willy willies. In Sudan, they call them hobobs. Ooh, yuck. Is that sand? Yeah, I was thinking that too. It kind of reminds me of what it looks like before a bad storm comes, like the really dark sky, huh? Ooh, blizzard. <laughs> we don't see those here in Texas, do we? All right, so this is called a blizzard. Snowflakes fall from E. Yeah. Oh my gosh, silly Miss Sale. Let's start over. Snowflakes fall <laughs> from very cold clouds. A cold wind blows the snow so hard you can't even see in front of you. And then snowflakes are ice crystals. In a blizzard, there are Billions and trillions of snowflakes. You guys see those? Whoa, look at all those snowflakes. <laughs> look at the puppy outside. He's probably like, why are we out here? It's too cold. Wow. Ooh, monsoon. We don't see monsoons around here either. Okay. This is a monsoon. Monsoons are winds that change each season. India has only two seasons. So you know here in Texas, we have four seasons, right? We have fall, winter, spring, and summer. But in India, there's only two seasons, okay? They have winter monsoons, which are dry, okay? So their winter monsoons don't look like this. Okay, it's actually dry. Summer monsoons bring lots of rain and everyone cheers because the rain helps the food grow. And look, it kind of looks like it causes a little bit of flooding too, huh? Yeah. Ooh, all right. Hurricane. Now, we do have those in Texas, but not where we live, okay? Not in the Fort Worth area. You'll probably see some hurricanes closer down to the coast, like in Galveston, okay? There probably might could be a hurricane, um, but not here. <laughs> okay, hurricane. It is late summer. Dark clouds form over the ocean. Strong winds pull ocean water up into space. 
spinning clouds. Hurricane! Cyclone! Hurricane winds knock down houses. Water floods streets and homes. Hurricane winds spin in a circle. The middle of the hurricane is still and calm. It is called the eye of the storm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, see all the wind blowing and see the trees. And there's different levels of the hurricanes too. Woo. All right. We are going to read out of this world. This is pretty cool. Where are the worst storms? Yeah, not even here on Earth. Jupiter's hurricane has been blowing for more than 400 years. In 2006, a lightning storm on Saturn lasted for weeks. The lightning bolts were more than a thousand times stronger than Earth's. Neptune has winds that blow 900 miles per hour. Guys, can you imagine if we had winds that blow, blow 900 miles an hour? They would blow us right over, huh? Super crazy and scary. Okay. So what I want to read to you real quick, and then this is kind of the close to the end of it, okay? We're going to read about houses for a storm. <clears throat> the home is on stilts. Hey, see this house right here? It's on stilts. After a monsoon, water and mud flow under the house. See how they're up on stilts to keep them safe, and then the water and stuff can go underneath. And as you can see, it's kind of made out of probably concrete because it's more sturdy and it won't rot. If they made it out of wood, the wood kept getting wet and wet and wet. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rot. In a sandstorm, this tin tent keeps sand out. An underground storm cellar helps people safe during a tornado. So that's what they use during a sandstorm. They get inside the tent and then the sand won't blow into their face and stuff. And see that underneath there? That's where they go if there's a tornado. And see how the ground's above it? Okay, you always want to be low and to the ground when a tornado comes. Because tornadoes bring everything up into the air with them. Ooh. All right. We're going to read about wild animals and wild weather, and that's the end of our book today. All right. Wild animals, wild weather. In blizzard winds, these monskins huddle together. They face the wind so their bodies stay warmer. In a hobbob, camels shut a second pair of eyelids to protect their eyes from sand. Their long, thin nostrils and extra hair Hairy ears keep sand out. That's interesting, huh? In monsoon rains, some monkeys keep dry in buildings or under branches. Other monkeys don't mind getting wet. <laughs> See the different animals? And that baby monkey's like, Mama, hold me, hold me, it's rainy. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you had some fun reading about storms. I really like books about um, fact books because they're really fun to learn, you get a lot of good information, and who doesn't like stuff about storms? Storms are pretty interesting and there's all kinds of storms, right? And there's also even kinds of storms that don't happen here where we live, but in other countries like India, because we don't have monsoons here, uh, we don't really have hurricanes or blizzards. Um, we really don't even get much snow most of the time, do we? So it's kind of cool to learn about um, different places and see what their weather's like. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Um, go get on Epic and read some books or have some books read to you. And I don't even mind today if you go get on a video in Epic. There's a lot of cool videos. Bye, guys.